decide to take on this case and, and work with the Hunter Biden legal team? And, and what's your role here? Why did I really take this is because, you know, I do hate bullies. Are you serious right now, bro? When I woke up at 6 a.m. this morning to feed the baby, the last thing I expected was a debate with Hunter Biden's lawyer. But that's exactly what I got. And I'll tell you all about it after this quick message from this video's sponsor, Noble Gold. The US dollar has lost 85% of its value since the 70s when the dollar decoupled from gold and the government seems bent on continuing the tradition. From now until the next elections, the government can print as much money as it wants. The last time they did that, inflation went up 9%. Gold is the one asset that has proven to withstand inflation. When you invest in gold with Noble Gold Investments, you will also get a 24 karat, one quarter ounce gold Gold standard coin for free. Go to noblegoldinvestments.com right now. That's noblegoldinvestments.com, the only gold company I trust. And remember, there's always risk in investment, and there are no guarantees of any kind. You decide to take on this case and, and work with the Hunter Biden legal team, and, and what's your role here? It's been interesting. My role is really the same as it was with the committee. It was really technical and analytical support based on computer forensics and phone forensics. And why did I really take this is because, you know, I do hate bullies. <laughs> uh, but I also found out, you know, as uh, the Hunter Biden legal team reached out to me, that a lot of the people that have been pushing this are the same people that push the J6 conspiracy theories. Of course. So this morning I saw the clip that you just watched and of course felt compelled to respond to and tag Mr. Denver. Riggleman, who actually is a former GOP congressman, but he got sucked into the January 6th insurrection fever swamps. So, of course, now he's Hunter Biden's lawyer. But I tagged him in a response that challenged his claim that Hunter Biden's laptop data had not been confirmed. And this apparently triggered Mr. Diggleman, who actually responded to me. Now, I never expected that this guy would actually respond to me, since he's supposedly a super serious forensic data analyst and the lawyer for Hunter Biden. Biden, but for some reason he did, and now it's content for all of you to enjoy. He starts off with an attack, which I'll say is fair since I did accuse him of spreading disinformation, saying that I don't know the difference between hardware and data, which I most certainly do. It's obvious to anyone. But even so, I have done professional IT work for the last two decades, and I was the CEO of a small IT company for over five years before I started doing YouTube full-time and became a stay-at-home dad. Well, you must be very proud of yourself. Of course, I'm not a lawyer, and while I do my best to have all the facts, I'm as susceptible as anyone to being misled. However, I'm willing to admit when I'm wrong and I've done it before. But the fact is, data from the laptop has been confirmed. As the Washington Post writes, thousands of emails purportedly from the laptop computer of Hunter Biden are authentic communications that can be verified through cryptographic signatures from Google and other technology companies, say two security experts who examine the data at the request of the Washington Post. Now, there is a caveat. The verifiable emails are a small fraction of the 217 gigabytes of data provided to the Post on a portable drive by Republican activist Jack Maxey. He said the contents of the portable drive originated from Hunter Hunter Biden's MacBook Pro, which Hunter reportedly dropped off at a computer repair shop. Okay, so let's just lay the facts out. Two security experts who were hired by the Washington Post, a supposedly reputable newspaper, got a copy of the hard drive from a Republican who got it from a whistleblower, and they confirmed some of those emails. The article goes on to say that they couldn't verify a large amount of the emails for a multitude of reasons, but the fact is they did verify some of them. So data has been confirmed. So if I'm honest here, I have have to admit that some of this is shady. A Republican drops off the supposedly copied contents of Hunter Biden's laptop that he received from a whistleblower? If the roles were reversed, I'd be skeptical. However, those two Washington Post security experts did confirm some of the emails. So that is data that has been confirmed by the Washington Post. The Washington Examiner also hired a forensic expert and former Secret Service agent to examine the data, which he said there was a quote, 100% certainty that Robert Hunter Biden was the only person responsible for the activity on this hard drive and all of its stored data, and that the hard drive is authentic. So again, both the hardware and the data have 
have been confirmed. And I'd like to point out that his lawyer isn't even disputing that the hardware is confirmed and legitimate. I'm not even gonna get into all the pictures and video that have been leaked, which seem to confirm the data is real. What do you all think? Am I completely wrong here? Or is the lawyer spinning as fast as he can? Then we get to the ominous part, where he finishes with a response to my opinion slash joke that Biden has something on him. He gives me what seems like a threat. Quote, you need to worry about what I have on everybody else. Who is he talking about? Me? Or is he talking about the people in news organizations who are currently pursuing Joe and Hunter Biden? Not a great look for him. Is there anything to Hunter Biden's laptop? Honestly, I don't know. However, Joe Biden, the government, media, and big tech did work together on an insane scheme to justify the censorship of real news and real news organizations that reported on it with the lie that it was Russian disinformation bolstered by 50 intelligence experts who lied because they were asked to in an email chain to quote, give Biden a talking point to defend against the story. What do you all think? Let me know in the comments after you hit that like button and subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Thank <laughs> you.